Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're out on the DAX as you can see, it's a nice uh, summer's day. <laughs> it's uh, it's about 23 degrees so it's pretty warm out. Um, it rained so it's very humid as well, um, but not as hot as we've had. The day before this video was taken it was about... 32 degrees or something so it was uh it was a lot cooler this day which was better for me to be out on the bike um sorry that there hasn't been much in the way of videos recently i just haven't been very well and uh so yeah just not been able to get out also upon making this footage when I got home and put it on my computer, I'd realised I'd used um, my external mic and plugged the wrong cable in, so it didn't record any audio whatsoever while riding, which is a real shame. So I'm having to do a voiceover at home um, and sort of like retrace what I said and try and remember what I was saying in the video. <laughs> but not to worry it, it it i'm sure it'll be all right so the uh subject of this video is new to me and it's new to you it's something i haven't done before and uh it just came to me um so recently i became a born again christian and i've been struggling for some time trying to find something decent to record and do on my rides um because i feel like they've been very repetitive and that also equals quite boring um especially when i get home and i watch the footage back and i'm like oh it's something i've said before done before these are all the exact same roads the exact same routes i usually take so if it's boring to me approaching it from an editing perspective it must be boring from a viewing perspective so I'd been searching for something new to do and um, I feel like God put this in my mind and gave me this as something to do so as I say the subject of this video is to be going around local churches and taking a look around them from the outside and maybe also the inside if if I can so the first church on our trip is the St James's Church at Borstal um, which is where we're heading right now it seemed a lovely little church when I saw it online so I thought why not head there it takes me out the way a little bit um, it allows me to ride some new roads and roads that you guys probably haven't seen before. Um, so yeah, we're heading there. And then once we're there, um, it sets me up nicely for the next church in the video, which is the Holy Trinity Church in Oxford. So we're going to head to the church at Borstal first and then from there we're going to head over to the Holy Trinity at Oxford. The good thing is is that I recorded the walk arounds on a different bit of kit so the audio recorded for those parts of the footage so it's only the riding footage that doesn't have any like with it audio but so they're the bits I'm having to voice over. Well, this is a bit of road you've definitely seen me on before, but we don't stay here for too long. We we um, shoot off of this soon. But um, yeah, it's just a lovely day to be out on the bike, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And the Dax was running lovely, as you can uh, as you can probably tell. Um, yeah, so it was just a nice day to get out on the bike. I I felt a little bit more myself, a little better, so I made the most of it. So 
so we're just about to pull up because we've reached the first church. Right then folks, we're just walking down to the church now. quite a small church lots of old old graves in the in the uh, churchyard very pretty though I don't think it will be open I'm probably a bit too early for it to be open to be fair although it might be it's very pretty from the outside. Nice little area to sit down in the peace and quiet. That's a bird screen. I won't go in, I'll just have a quick look through the through the screen. it's only a little church I just thought I'd have a quick look you know I'll walk over there and try and get a, an image of it a bit wider it's very pretty there around here it's very peaceful as well very quiet there we go that's the church St. James is at Borstal. It's a lovely uh, idyllic place to come for your worship. Right, let's head back to the bike and um, on to the next. We're now going to head over to the Holy Trinity Church at Oxford. I think it's called Headington Quarry, the area. Um, but yeah, so we're going to head over there now and take a good look round. It's at this church where C.S. Lewis is buried. So he was the author of the Chronicles of Narnia. So if you've ever read the books or you're a fan of the films, this is the man that created it all.
folks were at the uh, Holy Trinity Church. There's the board there. Just have a quick look. Since. You're here. So, C.S. Lewis is buried here. And there's a photo of it there. But we're going to go have a look for it ourselves. So, let's, uh, let's have a little wander and see what we can see. And then we'll have a little look around the church, but it looks like there might be some renovation work going on. Be a shame if it's blocking the Narnia window, because I would have liked to have seen that. But yeah, there you go. It's very nice. Step back a bit more. <laughs> Step back so much I'll end up out of it. There we go. Very pretty. Indeed. That's the uh, other notice board. Sunday services. DOCs of Oxford, which is the same DOCs that are uh, at Wendover Church. Alright, let's find the grave. And then we'll have a little look around the church. Because <laughs> although it's been worked on, they do say you can still go in. C.S. Lewis grave has a sign for it. So, somewhere down here. This is it here. Oh, so what does that say? In loving memory of my brother, Clive Staples Lewis, born Belfast, 29th November. 1898 and died in this parish. Wow, that's a, that's a very nice stone. Really interesting. Right, in a minute we'll go have a look at the um, church then, see if we can find the Narnia window. Right then, let's uh, head into the church, the Holy Trinity. It's a very pretty church. It's a shame about the bu building works, but that can't be helped. Renovations need to be done on these buildings to keep them alive. So, let's go in and have a look. Unfortunately, um, while I was having a little look around the church, the Narnia window was blocked and we couldn't see it because of uh, the renovation works that were going on. So that is a massive shame, but not to worry. Um, while I was there, the um, reverend invited me in for the um, uh, Holy Communion. So I stayed and actually joined in with the Holy Communion, which was the first time I'd ever done it and it was a really fantastic experience and uh i really enjoyed it yeah it was it was really nice of them to uh 
to have me. So yeah, um, just a great experience all round, and it's uh, another part of my uh, journey on being a Christian. Um, I didn't have any of the uh, wafers or the wine, though, because of I'm on a I'm on a strict diet, so I just thought it was best to to not have that. But it was really good to join in with all of the prayers and all of the readings and everything else. So, yeah, I would 100% recommend it. It was really nice. Um, Now we're heading over to Dorchester on Thames to have a look at Dorchester Abbey. So we're just about to ride past uh, HCAF. I didn't go to HCAF. Just went straight to the Abbey. So, yeah. So uh, here we are at Dorchester Abbey. Just a bit of information there. Take a little stroll up. Looks like there might be a wedding going on or something. In which case I won't intrude too much. Just because there's a wedding, but I'll have a quick look around, but I won't go inside. If that's the case. But it's really pretty. The red tiles. In comparison to the last church I just visited. The uh, Trinity in Oxford. Wow, what a... What a building. Look at that. That is a beautiful building. It's almost castle-like at one end. It is a stunning looking place. Really imposing building but absolutely gorgeous at the same time. It's got a little museum as well. That's cool. That looks so medieval, <laughs> very castle-like. It is extremely pretty though. But yeah, very nice building. I shan't go in, not this time, maybe another time. All right, that'll do for my uh, little tour around some churches. <laughs> so yeah, that was Dorchester Abbey at Dorchester on Thames it was a very nice place to go visit actually um, I'd like to go back and have another look and actually go inside but it does turn out that there was a wedding going on and they were preparing for it so I just thought I'm not going to intrude is it was you know I don't want to be um, seen as rude or anything so I just I just thought you know what I'll come back another day so that's the end of the video for today folks thank you very much for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed it it's been a bit of a different viewing experience and it was definitely a different experience making the video um i thoroughly enjoyed it i really did enjoy it and there will be more in this series to come i'm hoping to put them out every couple of weeks if you haven't already please like share and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one so until next time cheerio